All right. Hi, everybody. Let's get back where we left off from the last time. Um, it's been a while. Um, but I assume that you, you already familiar get yourself familiar with the uh, robot studio. So in the last homework, um, I focus on move J and move L. Um, now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use move C. The application of move C is mostly in welding or gluing. Ah, okay, ค่ะในคลิปนี้เราก็จะพูดถึงคำสั่ง move move C นะคะจะใช้ใน uh, application ในการเชื่อมการหยอดกาวนะคะ Okay, let's go to Robot Studio. Let's get a, a robot and make it has a bigger reach, longer reach. Okay. And now we should we should decorate our station so you can import non-robot equipment from library so you click uh, import library and then equipment you see that you have a lot of options in conveyors other equipment tools and training objects let's grab a uh, pedos uh, robot stand okay now um we should position the robot on this stand so what we can do uh first we can move the robot outside and can go to a position and then place now you have to select primary point from and to. We want to mark our uh, from position uh, at the bottom of the robot. We, I cancel this move command. Um, there are tools in Robot Studio which help you select uh, surface or points. Um, it's called snap object so let's uh, turn on and um, highlight uh, this box and select the center of the at the base of the robot here and click you notice that the um, I change in number in x y and z values now let's go to select primary point two so um the thing is you have to highlight one of these boxes and uh, click on, on the surface of the stand okay now you see that uh you see from and to points let's apply okay here we have the robot which is standing on this base so you can uh, move it a bit yep somewhere here okay and then we need a table so we're going to put our training objects on the table, OK? So we can go to import geometry. It's also uh, it's, um, the place you can import um, Robot Studio built-in objects. So let's search for our table. So please go to this directory. So. Is the directory 
where you install Robot Studio. In my case, it is installed under program files slash abb slash Robot Studio 2022, then abb, um, abb library, and training objects. Okay, let's uh, import table underscore small and curve thing. Okay, now we have table. Okay, I'm gonna move it a bit. We can check if everything is inside the robot's work envelope. Okay. Let's move our object, which is curved thing on the table. You can do the same thing using the place common. So select one point from, let's select at the edge of the box. Okay, so the trick is Okay, you might need to cancel this uh, move function. So the trick is you have to highlight any of three boxes and then click at any point on the box. Okay, let, yeah. So you have to make sure that uh, the number change from zero, zero, zero to some other numbers. Otherwise you um, didn't select any point. Then same thing apply to two primary point to the destination. So let's select somewhere here. Okay, click apply. Yep. ที่อาจารย์อธิบายเมื่อกี้ก็คือเราใช้คำสั่ง place เพื่อย้ายสิ่งของใช่ไหมคะนี่ซอฟต์แวร์นี้มันจะเหมือนกับมีบั๊กนิดหน่อยก็คือว่าเวลาเราจะเลือกบางทีเราขยับสมมติขยับหน้าจอไปมาเงี้ยคือเราเราเลือกบางทีเราเลือกไปแล้วแต่แบบเรามาขยับหน้าจอเงี้ยไอ้ตรงเนี้ยที่ไฮไลท์มันจะหายก็คือก่อนที่จะเลือกให้ตรวจดูให้มั่นใจก่อนว่ามันถูกไฮไลท์อย่างงี้คือช่องไหนก็ได้ในสามช่องนะคะเราค่อยเลือกไม่อย่างนั้นมันค่าที่เราเลือกไว้มันจะไม่ถูกนําเข้าไปนะก็อันนี้เป็นทริคนิดหน่อยนะคะโอเค let's uh, rotate uh, the box Oof. I Okay, in case you accidentally close any of the uh, windows, you can go to um, this icon, um, the, the arrow which is pointing down and then select default layout or you can just turn on the window you want. Okay, okay. then have layout uh, and you can close any window which is irrelevant so and you can also turn it on again document or you can just use default layout oops yeah okay let's um close this and i want to rotate this a bit I want to rotate this 90 degree around um, C axis. Maybe minus. Okay, then move. Okay, 
can decorate it uh, so I'll just uh, expand curving there two bodies I select the curvy part make a right click set color yep okay and the best can be changed to any color you like okay and I need um, a gluing or welding tool. So let's import from the library. So go to import, import library equipment and my tool, okay? Snap it to the robot by dragging it to the robot. Okay, confirm the update of the position. Up. And you need a controller. Okay, everything looks good. Finish. All right, when you have your controller, uh, you are finished the first step of this, um, our second homework, okay? Ta, ta ni ka ku la mi se chang yi tiam e kon la diao. See you in the next video. Bye.